Hey guys, it's Dynamic Zero with another video tutorial. It's been a while since we did a Photoshop tutorial, so I think it's uh, I think it's time. And uh, I'm gonna go over a problem that I'm pretty sure everyone who uses Photoshop has, and that is band lines in gradients. It's really, really annoying. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's when you make a gradient, which is a fade from one color to another. Uh, you normally get these uh, band lines where it doesn't smoothly transition from one color to another. It kind of stair steps to another to a, another color, and you normally get this more apparent between two uh, extremely uh, different contrast colors. So I showed you here, we're going from black to this light blue. You can see it very easily if you go in here, and I zoom in a lot so you guys can see it. Uh, there's these kind of diagonal lines we have here, which is the direction uh, I pulled the gradient. Pulling from here to here, from the bottom left to the top right, you get these diagonal gradients across the stair step. Now I also showed you in a, in a radial uh, gradient. From far back, this one actually doesn't look that bad, but if you zoom in a little bit, you can start to see it. It creates these, uh, these rings of, of stair stepping from the middle circle to the uh, outer edges where it starts to transition, you get more banding lines. So there is no great way to combat this, but we can kind of fake it to uh, to make it work. So I'm just going to duplicate our layer with the um, with the gradient on it, so that if we make a mistake, it's easy to go back and fix it, and start over. And the first step to do here is to try and just blur it out and see if we can uh, do that. So we're just going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, Gaussian. Blur. I have no idea how to say it to be honest. And we'll go in our preview window and s take a look. I still see lots of banding. I'm going to try and blur it a little bit more. And it doesn't seem to help a lot. Uh, zoom out, make sure we're not totally changing everything. And we'll press OK. It didn't help a lot. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. The next step is normally what kind of sells it. If you hold down Alt and press a new layer above the, uh, the gradient layer, choose Mode to Overlay. And we're going to fill with overlay neutral color 50% uh, gray. All it means is it's 50% um, gray when you set it to overlay is basically transparent in, in a way. It's hard to hard to explain. So just uh, press OK. You'll get overlay with 50% gray. Uh, it doesn't affect the image at all. It, that was my cell phone. All right. And uh, what we're going to do is go to filter, noise, add noise. And we have uniform and uh, monochromatic on. And we're going to add just a little bit. We don't want too much because it's a little noticeable right here. So I'm going to actually tone it down to let's do 1%, see what that looks like. And eh, need a little bit more to get rid of the banding. Now, see, if you go up too much, that's what happens. But this little bit of noise actually kind of breaks up the, uh, the band lines a little bit. So somewhere in here, let's try and bring it down because it's too much in the blue. The, the thing you're trying to hit here is you need kind of more in the dark areas than the light areas. Um, in the light areas, it shows up a lot because it's uh, got this black. And you need it in the uh, dark areas to break up the lines. The, the little black dots interfere with the lines, kind of tricking your eye into thinking that the lines aren't there because it's so masked by the noise. So that actually looks OK. I'm going to press OK. Now, it's a little noisy over here. We'll fix that in a minute. But if you look over here where the band lines were really bad, they're kind of gone. Uh, what you see now is just the the uh, the noise. Now, if you look really carefully, there are some lines here. I doubt you can see them, but the lines are distorted by the little black dots from uh, the noise. So from far back, you don't see the lines at all like you did before. Now, what we can go in here and do, I'm going to duplicate that and hide one. So now what we can do in here is erase it where we don't necessarily need it with a really soft brush and come in here kind of erase it up here we didn't need it so much go in here erase out most of this we do need it down here so we're going to be really careful around here nope I can already see some band lines suck a little too much but you get the general principle if you want you can blur that a little bit wouldn't recommend it a lot because if right here you can already see band lines bring it down bring it down yeah you know what I'm not going to blur it here because no matter how much I blur it band lines come back. And that is how you can, for the most part, be band lines. There's a few here. That's from what I erased. Put this back. Gone. Uh, you probably couldn't see much of it because uh, the band lines are very hard to see, uh, probably in the recording. But we did, for the most part, fix the band line 
issue. Um, if you want, you could try it here too. Same idea, I'm just gonna duplicate that, throw it on top of here, Let's see what it looks like. Already, I didn't even need to do anything. It, it kind of lowers the quality of the picture a little bit, but it's the trade-off that you get to uh, get rid of banding. There's no real solution for it that I can figure out. Even at, you know, I work in 300 DPI all the time, and I still get just as much banding as if I do 72. Um, just seems like there's no actual fix for banding, but this is pretty much the closest you can get. Alright, I'll see you guys uh, probably before next week with another Photoshop tutorial. And uh, subscribe, like, comment, all that great stuff. I'll see you guys later.